Hey everyone, this is Phil, and in this video we're going to be showing you our first impressions of the GAN I carry. This is GAN's newest smart cube, and the nice surprise is it's $36.99, making it cheaper than virtually all smart cubes in the 3x3 category. This cube weighs about 77 grams and measures 56 millimeters across, so it's pretty much a speed cube, but smart. The interesting thing about this, in addition to the price, is the fact that it does not have a charger. So when you get the cube in the packaging, all you're getting is the cube and some accessories. Instead of a charger, this cube uses batteries that you can replace. GAN advertises that this cube is usable for at least 280 hours before you have to replace any batteries, so that's quite a long time. This cube is on pre-order at the time of this filming, and we expect to have it in stock mid to late April, after which we'll be shipping out the products. What we'll be doing in this video is playing ranked mode, so it'll be a little competitive, and uh, if you go around the app, you can see there's actually a uh, list, a ranking of cubers and their performances. So we'll each be playing that, and we'll be giving you our first impressions. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, Damien here. The GAN I carry, as far as I can tell, performs exactly like the GAN I and I2. The mechanisms seem to be the same, or at least close enough to where I can't tell the difference. The major difference between this puzzle and its predecessors is that you no longer need a charging cable. This one comes with a battery installed that you will need to replace once it dies. But the good news is that this single battery can last up to 280 hours, even if it may be a little bit of a hassle to replace. The updated CubeStation app looks better but there are still unfinished portions of this new version coming from an old version that was also unfinished. The app side of the product, although free, is definitely a weak point. We had some small app connectivity issues here in the office, and it just doesn't feel polished. But, with that being said, they have updated the interface in a way that lets you scramble and solve more quickly in competitive mode, and I'm a big fan of that. Once again, this puzzle performs as well as the i and the i2, making it a top-of-the-line smart cube, and at this reduced price, I think it's a great deal. You may just have to give the app some time to catch up. Hey, this is Phil. I had a lot of fun playing with the GAN I carry. The feel is really similar to the older I and I2. It definitely feels like a GAN smart cube, but I still don't completely like frosted plastic. The cube has a crunchy feel and corner cutting is pretty good. The cube is slightly locky so I feel I have to make slight adjustments to my turning style in order to get good times. Turning more relaxed definitely helps. The software is still called CubeStation, but the one we're using is a second version. It's horizontally oriented with a lot of stuff on the screen. The buttons are quite small, but the app is fairly easy to navigate. A lot of the areas in the app seem to be in the works. Despite that, we were still able to play ranked. This mode is really seamless and comfortable. To start the next solve, all you need to do is a U and then a U prime. You don't even need to touch the device at all. It's very smart design. I cubed on this mode for an entire hour a few days ago on stream, and I didn't encounter any problems. Naturally, a lot of people are asking to compare this to the older GAN smart cubes on the Rubik's Connected. I can say with confidence that I like this better than the older GAN smart cubes. A cheaper price is a huge plus. Not having to charge the cube is cool too. I don't expect changing the battery to be that difficult. At this point in time, I still think the Rubik's Connected slash GoCube has a more streamlined app, mainly because it's finished and very polished. But GAN's app is obviously in development, so they have a genuine opportunity to be competitive. Whatever happens, the GAN I carry wins the award for being the cheapest 3x3 smart cube on the market so far. And hey, it's a good cube with at least okay software. I'm excited for this. Hey guys, Ro here. I consider the GAN 356i carry to be a great smart cube for its price range. Out of the box, I found it a bit slow and dry, but that seems pretty standard for a smart cube, in my opinion. With additional break-in, this should probably improve. Though it could definitely turn better, I was able to get quite a few good solves on the GAN 356i carry, and I had some difficulty putting it down. I thoroughly enjoy this puzzle, and I recommend picking one up. Hey everyone, Maddie here. Hey. I think that this new iteration of GAN Smart Cube makes solving on the go very convenient. It has a replaceable battery inside the cube versus you having to charge it. I find Bluetooth cubes are most useful for learning about your stats and how you can improve in certain aspects of your solving. 
For what the gun I carry is meant for, it performs well. A small downside was that the cube often locked up when I tried to spam TPS. But the gun I carry does come with extra tension nuts and springs, so I'm sure with the right setup that issue can easily be fixed. As for the app, it has nice graphics, but using it wasn't intuitive for me. A nice feature was that you only had to turn a layer to prompt the scramble. Unfortunately, when I tried to create an account on my phone, I didn't receive the email with the verification code within the 60 seconds that the app gives you to enter it, which was quite frustrating. I'm looking forward to updates that will make this process easier and the UI more seamless. However, the GAN I carry is the best performing and most customizable Bluetooth cube currently on the market, especially for its price. I would recommend it to anyone looking for a great performing smart cube. Hey, it's Jules. I feel like while the GAN I carry is a decent improvement from the other GAN I cubes in the past, it's not a drastic improvement that will blow your mind away and cause you to throw away all of your current smart cubes in the trash due to its superiority. It is a lot more stable and softer to turn, but that's pretty much it. I would say that I find the primary internals a little bit easier on the eyes compared to the black plastic internals of the previous GAN I releases. The biggest changes will probably be with the electronic bits, which will either be a deal killer or deal maker depending on the person. The feature or issue of not having a charged cube will definitely cause arguments about why this is the best or worst smart cube GAN has ever made. Hardware aside, the software has improved significantly. It still doesn't have support for other methods, but it's fun to see my cross times taking up 90% of my solves in the stats. I probably won't end up GAN I carrying this cube anytime soon, but for how relatively cheap it is, I'm curious if it will encourage more cubers to give a smart cube a try.